you were an X-Man. You were the X-Man. The summer movie season just got twice as fun. Us? A team? The answer is yes. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman join up for Deadpool and Wolverine. Who's next? I never feel more free than when I'm this character. I can't imagine doing it any other way. I can't believe we didn't do it for the last 24 years. We go one-on-one -on -one with the stars of this huge summer blockbuster. Plus, show you the crazy antics as they met Marvel fans all over the world. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is On the Red Carpet presents Deadpool and Wolverine. Hello and welcome to Lincoln Center in New York City for the world premiere of Deadpool and Wolverine. Yes, this is the moment fans have been waiting for. This is the movie fans have been waiting for right over there. Absolutely. We're talking about Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman bringing their beloved Marvel characters to the MCU for the first time. And we're going to hear from them in just a little bit. But first, let's see them in action in Deadpool and Wolverine now playing in theaters everywhere. I've always wanted to ride with you, Logan. Deadpool oh. and a Wolverine. Can you imagine the fun? The chaos? In Deadpool and Wolverine, Wade Wilson, AKA Deadpool, learns his home world is in peril and reluctantly agrees to suit up again to save it. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. little cinematic universe is about to change forever. This time, the stakes are so high, Deadpool needs some assistance. And there's only one man, one X-Man, who can help. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about, and I have no idea how to save it. But you do! Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Well, my entire world needs you. Let's just say Wolverine becomes a reluctant partner. Shake on it. Nicked it. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Let's go and go. Let's love and go. George, things are getting exciting. Oh, yes. You absolutely. pumped? I'm pumped. You know who's more pumped? Who? He's got <laughs> We can't compete with you that. You can't compete with it. So this world premiere of Deadpool and Wolverine is the culmination of a month-long world tour. These two huge stars have been connecting with fans all over the globe. And some great fans. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman have been on a world tour to promote Deadpool and Wolverine. In Shanghai, fans greeted them with the wave. This is our first stop on the Deadpool and Wolverine uh, worldwide press tour. Ni hao, and I'm thrilled that you guys are one of the first people to see footage from the film. The guys brought bikes to Berlin, thrilling a massive crowd of fans with autographs and selfies, even firing t-shirt cannons from the stage. Oh! But Joel, in South Korea, they traded the t-shirt cannons for high-powered water guns soaking up the fun during a surprise appearance at Seoul's Water Bomb Festival. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> in London, some superhero lookalikes were looking good, but it was Peggy the dog, who plays Dogpool, who clearly stole the show and stole hearts on the red and yellow carpet, George. I love Dogpool. And in Rio de Janeiro, these Marvel stars visited Ipanema Beach, kicked penalties with Brazilian soccer greats, and made another surprise appearance before a packed crowd of fans. Ryan and Hugh have clearly been having the best time meeting fans all over the world, but it has all been leading up to this moment, the world premiere of Deadpool and Wolverine. to behold, Marvel Studios turning the iconic Lincoln Center steps into an epic red and yellow carpet. 
Deadpool and Wolverine superfans were fired up, but no one was more excited than Ryan and Hugh. Do you have a message for one another now that this is finally premiering to the world? Yep, we actually said it to each other, which is slow down, feel your feet on the ground, and take this in. I think the exact words were slow down, you move too fast, <laughs> you gotta make the moment last. Peggy, a.k.a. Dogpool, made another appearance. So did Avril Lavigne and the guys from NSYNC. Even Madonna, along with the cast of this huge summer blockbuster. I love playing this character. I get to say all kinds of terrible things that I would never be allowed to do in my real life. This started for me in 2015 when we shot the first movie, and it feels crazy to have this be coming back. It's a lot about friendship for chosen family and that kind of life. I got, obviously, I got to see Q Ryan acting together, which is like the most beautiful thing you'll ever get to witness in your life. I think it's incredible, and I love it. I, I've been waiting to see this matchup since I was a kid. Deadpool and Wolverine relies heavily on the chemistry between Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. There's just something special that seems to happen when these two stars get together. I'm here now with Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds and director Sean Levy, who have broken every movie rule in the book to make this. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, a lot of rules. We keep broken. we keep waiting to get in trouble, but no one's telling us to stop. No, no. so yeah. we're just enjoying it. How freeing was this for you, Ryan, to make a movie where the rules went out the window and it's just fun, but still meaningful? Yeah, I've always felt this way, and and the sincere answer is I've never I never feel more free than when I'm this character. You know, I, it's like everything I love about performing, it's clown work, it's like, you know, literally clown work, I mean, under a suit and a mask and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then working with uh, my closest friends, that is a weird feeling. Did you do like 20 push-ups before I came in? Because your veins are sticking out like... I'm 100% George. I did 25. And actually my rap gift from Ryan was one of those bands, green yeah. bands, that because literally yes. all day on set. And because he knew you doing. were coming in, he had yeah. me lie on his back That's during right. the push-up just for that extra 70 pounds. That's they call right. them Harriet and Herbert, the two, the, the two. Uh, the veins. Yeah, the veins, yeah. yeah they're, they're, they're my mom actually says, you're welcome. She said, I hated my veins, but she, uh, I invented, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, she's quite what veiny. And oh, she was God, always that's like, like the yeah. That's just yeah, she goes, I'm glad it works for you. She hated it, there you go. Did your spandex dream come true, or was it a spandex nightmare, finally wearing that yellow. And except when urinating, nightmare, but, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, except yeah. when needing the bathroom, um, yes. That's not much better. I don't know, you're a, that was <laughs> what so, was that? That was, that was a know. medical grade. Uh, Somehow urinating was not allowed. But I think you in said you never felt more Wolverine Thanks than when you wore it. Thank, Thank you for getting me That's back. That's why I'm here. But absolutely, I, I've never, honestly, I can't imagine doing it any other way. I can't believe we didn't do it for the last 24 years. It was their idea immediately, this is what we're going to do, and it's it just, it's perfect. Taking Hugh to pee was a nightmare for me. <laughs> <laughs> a nightmare. <laughs> it, everything is a shy bladder, so everything has to be a certain way. Like there wasn't an exclusive coordinator there. Needs a boat of there. candle, Vivaldi playing on low, a wind coming at ten knots from the northeast. It's a very specific ah, thing, and, uh, it's and then, you, then you compound it with he's got to find it under the suit. Uh, next thing you know, that's wow. a wrap, guys. We're gonna go home and we're gonna try again tomorrow. I'm glad that we've spared you the "what was it like on set" question because <laughs> you just saw. Yeah. We talked in Vegas at CinemaCon, and you couldn't wait to get back to editing this. And I thought, this is a guy who's so committed because he loves what we're about to see. I do, I have. I'm a little bit sad that we have to let this movie go because we have loved making it and wrapping our arms around it. But we built this movie for audiences. We built the movie for audience joy. And we're pretty excited that we finally get to share that with the and world. And this one film has been years. I mean, we've been we're really, literally working on this for years. I've gotten a rap. How would Deadpool react to getting a rap to end an interview in just five minutes? Messy stabbing death. I answered that too quickly, didn't I? <laughs> Coming up. Something like this is such a, it's such a high stakes thing actually to get right. More from the cast of Deadpool and Wolverine, including some helpful sidekicks and one powerful villain. And there are real emotional bits in this film mm. that I think pe people are gonna be quite surprised by. Then we're opening our video vault. Really nice to meet you. I Good thought the film was a lot of fun. Thanks, mate. Good. Our oldest interviews with Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds and our weirdest. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What was the question again? 
buy Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Oh, quite common in Wolverines over 40. There are some big surprises in Deadpool and Wolverine, but don't worry, we're not gonna spoil it for anyone. No, we promised you, we promised Ryan we wouldn't do that, and we will not. There are also some returning characters and some new ones played by an all star cast. Boys are so silly. Emmy nominee Emma Corrin from The Crown and two time Emmy winner Matthew McFadden from Succession are among the Deadpool and Wolverine supporting cast. The script was absolutely incredible to start with. It's just really fun. Emma plays supervillain Cassandra Nova, who Marvel Comics fans know as a sort of evil twin of Professor X. I think she kind of has so much power and is so much more powerful than pretty much anyone, especially Deadpool and Wolverine, that she can kind of do what she wants with them and treats them a bit like toys. Matthew plays Mr. Paradox, a time variance authority agent who recruits Deadpool for his new mission. <sighs> Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? Why am I here? Walk with me. Mr. Paradox, it's difficult to know what he wants. I think he's frustrated with his middle management kind of job position. But yeah, he's just sort of malevolent without, I don't know what, how much of an end game he has. Yeah. But it was really good fun to play. What were your geek out moments during, during the making of this? I've got to say, I had some one-on-one -on -one scenes with Hugh, as, you know, obviously, as Wolverine, not as anyone else. And, um, yeah, those were really... Like, I, I've, I love Logan so much, that film, and there were some moments where there were real echoes of that, and I sort of had to really remind myself I was in the scene and had to act. Just having fun with Ryan on that, I mean, yeah. that hilarious TVA set. Just soaking up all that stuff is wonderful. Crazy, it's a real treat. Yeah. There's so much packed into this film. And it's just absolutely incredible. I've, yeah, have you seen it? Yeah. The film? Yeah. I've yeah. never laughed so much in my life, but I've also, I was like, sincerely moved, <laughs> which was nice. Yeah. Among Deadpool's returning pals from past films is Peter, played by Rob Delaney, a normal guy who joined Deadpool's hero team despite having no superpowers. And Rob is having the time of his life getting to play him again. There are a lot of people in show business that want to be a part of a movie like this. I feel very, very, very lucky because basically I got, you know, to play this silly character that they created out of whole cloth for Deadpool 2, and then it gets vacuumed up by Disney and Marvel, so I get to be in the MCU as, as this guy who has no superpowers. Like, nobody, there was not a focus group being like, we need a guy like, uh, he has no superpowers, he's just kind of pleasant, is that his power? Uh, you know, so it's so, Peter's a bit of an against the odds that he even exists, so I, yeah, I feel very lucky. I want to talk about the freedom that you have when you make a movie like this. It is so legitimately insane, the things in the movie, but none of it is just like, we got to make sure we got that, get that R. It's all earned, it all makes sense, it's filthy, filthy. I mean, violence where you're like, ugh! Uh, it, it's glorious. Up next, that's a secret. A look back at our earliest interviews with Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. Two guys going on a pizza party. Plus, a sneak peek at some other big Marvel Studio projects coming soon. Who's next? Oh my God! Sabretooth, ready to die. Wait! 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 wait. Okay, good luck, I'm a huge fan. As we mentioned, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman have been playing Deadpool and Wolverine for a long time. And I've been interviewing these two affable leading men for a long time as well. I did a bad thing. Hoover, who did you do a bad thing to? Before he was Deadpool, I first interviewed Ryan Reynolds in 1998 about his ABC sitcom, Two Guys, a Girl, and a Pizza Place. It's two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. A pizza place. 
two guys going to pizza place. Pretty much what it is. And because of his musical theater background, we were initially going to call it Cats. What is this place? A couple years later, Hugh Jackman made his American film debut as Wolverine in the original X-Men movie. Patrick Stewart creates the X-Men and the school for good to try and encourage harmony. I first met Hugh the following year when he was promoting Swordfish. Really nice to meet you. I Good thought the film was a lot of fun. In that movie, he played a hacker who teams up with John Travolta and his X-Men co-star Halle Berry. I'll, I'll tell you the password is Tempest. So if you want to know anything about the movie, if he doesn't show you stuff because he's edited it out, pa the password is Tempest. After his sitcom days, Ryan Reynolds graduated to the college comedy Van Wilder. What is that intoxicating scent you're wearing, Doris? I have cats. In this scene, he seduces the school registrar to get an extension on his tuition. You know what I, is even more shocking than making out with an 80-year-old woman? What? I liked it. And I liked it a lot. <laughs> Ryan first played Deadpool in 2009's X-Men Origins Wolverine. Of course, the character looked a little different back then. You have to fulfill a set expectation that fans have uh, for, for the characters in these movies, and, and uh, you know, those are big shoes to fill. Reuniting Deadpool and Wolverine on screen had a lot to do with director Sean Levy, who previously worked with Hugh on Real Steel. Brilliant! And with Ryan on Free Guy. I'm not gonna be the good guy. I'm gonna be the great guy. When you get it to a place where you feel like it's perfect, you have to sort of go another 30% far farther. And um, that is the sort of same work ethic that Sean Levy embodies. Over the years, both Hugh and Ryan have received stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This is, uh, this is just absolutely unbelievable for me on so many levels. And Hughes left his handprints outside the Chinese theater. I love being here with movie fans, thank you. Both stars have been named People's Sexiest Man Alive, and Hughes even hosted the Oscars. You gotta remember, I'm a boy from the northern suburbs of Sydney, the closest thing I had to the Oscars was my father worked for Price Waterhouse, and I used to go, Dad, the accountants are on. And through all the movies and all their successes, they keep coming back to these two beloved Marvel characters. Here's you promoting 2017's Logan, which he thought would be his final film as Wolverine. They're all very, very important to me, but this last one, Logan, is the most personal. And here's an interview I'll never forget. Ryan, as Deadpool, seemed to have his movie confused with The Hunger Games. How about giving me an idea by explaining your character a little bit? Well, she's uh, beautiful. She's strong-willed and courageous. She lives in a dystopian world where people are randomly selected to compete in this um, game of life and death. How does it feel to be forever in the shadow of Wolverine? How does it feel to forever be in Barbara Walters' shadow? Touché, Deadpool. Touché. Well, after Deadpool and Wolverine, there's much more to look forward to for Marvel fans, starting with a certain witch making an appearance just ahead of Halloween. She took every bit of power I had, but I can be that witch again. Katherine Hahn returns as Agatha Harkness, the Wicked Witch from WandaVision in Agatha All Along. The spellbinding new series debuts on Disney Plus September 18th. Join me. Then next year, get ready for more Marvel movies, including Captain America Brave New World, starring Anthony Mackie and Harrison Ford. Plus, anti-heroes assemble in Thunderbolts and the all-new Fantastic Four, featuring Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards. It's an exciting time for Marvel fans and Marvel's president, Kevin Feige. I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff. We start shooting Fantastic Four, which is another group of characters that we at Marvel Studios didn't have uh, access to until Disney acquired Fox. So like the X-Men, like the mutant characters, the Fantastic Four are very, very important Marvel characters that we can finally uh, um, uh, bring to our cinematic universe. The way that these movies can make, if I'm being real, like grown men cry, <laughs> they mean so much to so many. I am one of those people. I am one of those people and those fans that uh, that uh, have responded to the Marvel characters, but also lots of other uh, characters and, and movie franchises as I was growing up. 
And all I wanted to do in my career was create that feeling for other people. The heart of Deadpool and Wolverine, what would you say is at the heart of this one? It honestly is the legacy and the friendship and the humanity of Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. And that co combination is what gives this movie its soul. You mind putting your mask back on? Super hard to eat while I'm wearing it. It's super hard to eat when you're not. Still ahead, Deadpool's day job. But I think it's about Wrexham changing everyone else. Ryan Reynolds on the success of Welcome to Wrexham. Plus, Hugh Jackman takes us to Faraway Downs. Out here, your cattle's worth more than your land. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Deadpool and Wolverine is now playing only in theaters. But if you want to see all the previous films featuring these Marvel heroes, you can find them on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, and on Hulu, you can get your fix of even more Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. People want to feel like they're a part of this magical story. Don't tell Hugh Jackman, but Ryan Reynolds is part of another great Hollywood duo, partnering with Rob McElhenney on Welcome to Wrexham. The FX docuseries about the Welsh soccer club these two stars own together has won five Emmys and is nominated for six more this year. Come on! People in Wrexham have been so unabashedly brave and forthcoming with their stories, and I think that's why this show is connected. That's the big beating heart of the show, are those those people. We last saw Hugh Jackman in another Hulu series, Far Away Downs. Welcome to Australia. This should be interesting. The six-part miniseries from director Baz Luhrmann is a reimagining of his 2008 film Australia, starring Hugh and Nicole Kidman, which Hugh told us about when the original movie came out. It's almost impossible to describe, except that it's a feast. It's, a, it's not a... It's not like we're just gonna have sushi or you're having a chicken dinner. It, it, it's everything, you know? And that's, I think, what is unique about it. Both Far Away Downs and Welcome to Wrexham are streaming on Hulu. We love Ryan and Hugh together. They are fantastic in Deadpool. And Wolverine. Playing now at a theater near you. For the latest on this movie and all the entertainment news, follow On the Red Carpet on social media. And we'll see you next time on the Red Carpet.